Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, my name is Gemma Rennick and I have been a one-to-one -one diet consultant for the last 10 years. I help hundreds and hundreds of slimmers lose weight, become confident in their own bodies, be happier, healthier, and happier versions of themselves, basically. And I absolutely love my job. I've been doing vlogs properly, you know, consistently, shall we say, since January the 2nd this year, and we're now into April, so I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud, and you guys have given me lovely feedback. So if you do like my videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. Please share it with your friends. Let's get all these myths busted about the one-to-one -one diet by Cambridge Weight Plan. It is not just shakes. So yeah, share my videos, please, please, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And give me a comment. Let me know what you wanna see on my page in the future and what you think of what I've done so far. This week's vlog is a little bit different. We've just been on a holiday of a lifetime to the Maldives. It is, oh my God, it was insane. I forgot to do an intro before we went, so this is why I'm here now, giving you this after I got back. But yeah, if you wanna see what we got up to on our family holiday to Siam World in the Maldives, then keep watching. So I have my vanilla latte for breakfast, and then now for lunch before we leave for the airport, I'm gonna have this onion and chive bagel with two scrambled eggs. How excited are you? <laughs> Let me read your t-shirt. Sassy. Confident, fearless, lovely, always. Always sassy. Millionaire shortbread yogurt before we leave. Just to use it up. <laughs> Just trying to be good where I can, which probably won't be for much longer. Wow, she's ready. Airport ready. <laughs> Woo! You excited? Yeah. He's a bit worried about the journey, aren't you? I'm very excited, but it's a 15 hour journey. Though. Longer than that, darling. Yeah, at least 15. Probably 24 hours. Oh. Get ready. <laughs> what are you doing? Say bye to my room. Bye, room. <laughs> He's saying bye to his room. Weirdo. Yeah, it's actually sunny in England. Not as sunny as the Maldives, though. No, it's very It's going to be 30 degrees. <laughs> oh, Mum! Nice suit. That's the last thing. Same as yours. <laughs> Copycat. Oh. Hello. Looking good. We're at the airport, Finn. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling Just good. about to check in our bags, aren't we? Mm -hmm. You getting excited or are you nervous? Yeah, I'm getting excited. Bethany was a little bit scared, weren't you, when we got out of the car? Not been in the airport for a long time, have you? But how are you feeling? Yeah, all right now. Good. No more tears. You need to turn the We swap bags. Show everyone your lovely bag. Ooh. She's on brand. <laughs> I've tied on the car, so I'm going to get sleep really quick. Oh, do you think you'll sleep on this flight or the next one? No, probably the eight hour one, but hopefully I get to sleep because I've never been good at getting sleep on like coaches, planes and stuff. I know. I think you will though, you'll be tired. The planes are quite relaxing. You've got your blanket and your fluffy socks. <laughs> they're not my fluffy socks. No, they're mine, but you can borrow them. This is a perfect example. <laughs> it's a video, by the way. <laughs> Everyone's seen the true colours of you two. <laughs> you said you were a pizza, naughty little woman.
I know, I can't believe we're here. First night and we've come out for a little buffet dinner. Couldn't make any effort with getting dressed today because it was too hot and we're too tired. But we've had a lovely buffet, haven't we, Finn? Yeah. <laughs> He's just, you're not with it, are you? <laughs> we're not with it. Knackered. But we will be on here tomorrow. Love in life. Ooh. How are you finding it so far, Jim? Yeah, very nice. <laughs> yeah, get used to this. Oh my god, it's amazing, isn't Especially it? Especially without the kids doing that. Yeah, they're asleep. It's gone nine o'clock and they're still asleep. Been on the slide, been snorkeling. Oh, it's just amazing. What's our plan today, then, Jim? What are we thinking? Hit the pool, hit the bar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 How are we finding it? <laughs> Lovely, thanks. Bloody amazing. Not bad, is it? So Considering it's what time is it now? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Well, it was cloudy when we got here, wasn't it, yesterday? This is, there's not any clouds at all, is really. it? that beach. Yeah, you can't see can't see the fish in the water, but there's so many. Isn't there? Yeah, there's more underneath here um, than there is out there. That's amazing. Swimming to the beach. Okay, she's figured out to go fast. Go on then. Yeah, that's better. Woo! Yes! This is our restaurant tonight. Wow. This is nice, isn't it, Beth? Yeah. Wow. It's actually on the sea, look. Beautiful. Oh, it looks nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just out here. Yeah. Oh, 
but it's been so hot today, so hot, and we've decided to come and sit on the slide to watch the sunset before dinner tonight. Prosecco, kids are being annoying. Here he is. Oh, yes, barman. Thank you. Not the best pool room, but <laughs> that's the job. Tastes the same. Oh. It's quite hard to get it on the camera, but it is stunning. This place is just unbelievable. Look at the sea. Bethany's getting told off. Finney's here. Oh, Diet Coke. What's Bethany doing? Being naughty as usual. Oh, oh you don't want to get a picture of her. Oh, You don't want to. Daddy's had the too viewers much. don't want to see you for Bethany. We'll wait till she's dressed and then she'll come on. Peace out, Bennies. <laughs> to rain a little bit, hasn't it Finn? Yeah. We saw a bit of lightning at dinner and we thought, oh no, we're going to get caught in the rain because it's quite a long walk back to our room. It's just our luck though that it happens on Mum's birthday. It's not my birthday, so but tomorrow. It's tomorrow, but no. Oh, see that lightning? It's not going to rain tomorrow. <laughs> no, Mummy's going to be 40 tomorrow. <sighs> no rain, you can rain tonight. But don't rain tomorrow, okay? Rain all the way till like 7.59, yeah. just then stop. <laughs> That's when we get up, is it? Yeah. Oh god, it's spitting. <laughs> Nearly back now. We've done well, Finney. To miss, miss the rain. Made it before the rain. And it is, it's quite far down. Getting our steps in every day, I tell you. In the day it's hard when it's hot. Here we go. Has he made our beds? Yes. Oh, I don't know, Oh. Wait, what are they? What's it say? Happy Easter. It says life is full of Easter eggs. You just have to find them. Oh Prem. Oh Prem, our little room man. He's amazing. Sorry guys, I literally have not been on here at all. We've just been out and about every day, keep forgetting the camera, and to be honest, just can't be bothered to vlog. It's been a little bit stressful. We've had, you know, having two kids, this heat is unreal. So we've struggled with the sun cream and stuff, and Bethany's pretty much allergic to everything, so she's got a special cream. But Finley, we've been putting Factor 50 on, like constantly, and he burnt his arms probably on day, when was it? Day two, I think, he burnt them a little bit. Not overly bad, but they peeled a bit yesterday. And he said he'd peeled all the skin off. We didn't realise, but he'd obviously been sat peeling all the skin off. And we were putting Factor 50 on, but it must have been like fresh, raw skin. 
And last night he's like, my arms really hurt. And then we noticed all these little blisters popping up. Oh my God, I'll show you it in a minute. He's got massive blisters on his arm, both arms, just on his forearm. So we've just been to the doctor and she was like, have you not been using sun cream? We're like, back to 50 every hour. Like we've been, we've probably been a bit too obsessive, if anything. He puts it on in the morning when he's completely dry and then we dry him off and we apply it after he's been in the pool. But you know what kids are like on, on holiday? He wants to be on the pool all day, every day. And um, he loves it in there. And I remember the same used to happen to my little brother. James has got the same sort of skin as Finley. And it's, it's hard. And there's lots of other people out here saying, oh, you need to do this and do that. It's like, yeah, but your kids have got olive skin. <laughs> Finley hasn't. And what, we, what we've learned is he needs a full length rash vest next time. If we ever do anywhere like this again, which is a shame, but it's what he needs. So we've just got some calamine lotion. So we've got pink arms at the moment, but he's inside and we're just gonna spend the day on the balcony today while he chills, take him for lunch, and then we take him to the sports bar maybe later to, um, you know, be in the aircon and play pool and stuff. So he can still do loads of stuff, just no direct sunlight basically. But he's well happy, he's got Netflix on, he's in bed, he's, we've given him a lovely big breakfast. He had pancakes, Nutella, waffles. He was like, do you know what? I'm loving being a patient. And we've just got his pillows propped up on his bed. I'll, I'll show you him. Hang on, I'll take you. Finn, I've just been telling everyone on YouTube about your arms and the fact that you're now a patient. Should we show everyone? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that big one there, look. Oh, my baby. How are you feeling, Finn? Finn? Okay. Let's see your other one. So he's been covered in calamine lotion now and it, she said it will dry it out. <laughs> and what did the doctor say, Finn? She was like, do you want me to pop them? You were like, no, <laughs> no thank you. She was like, okay, they'll pop on their own with the cream. But bless his heart, poor little bubba. You stay in the aircon. And then this one's just been swimming with daddy. In the sea. Made it back. Made it back, was it good? I saw loads of fishies under me. I saw a big <gasps> black one and a stripy one. Did you? A yellow and blue one. Wow. I'll oh, put your hat on then if you're going in the pool. Yeah. So we're just going to spend our day here today, aren't we? Yeah. Me and Jim are still poorly with our funny cold. Yeah. Whatever we've got. We don't know if it's the C word, but we'll just ignore that for now. And Finley's still ill. No, I'm still ill. She likes them. So yeah, on that note. <laughs> we're gonna chill outside for today and I will I will try and film a little bit more but I just it's an effort in it <laughs> if you can see that it's a bit bright yeah we had quite a few stressful days at the beginning so you know what holidays are like with families you forget actually you do forget you only remember the good bits but we have had we have we've had an amazing time but we had a few stressful days at the beginning so i started getting this funny sore throat on about day three or four and that was annoying and then finley's been sunburned but apart from that we have had literally the best time my battery's just about to go i've just seen so we're going to change that over and come back but tonight we're going for a spanish dinner and meeting our friends we've made some friends with the family and we're gonna go and meet them for drinks. We've met them every night so far. And actually, they've made it. It's been amazing. So I shall speak to you all soon. Um, got my little, can't really wear my many clothes here. It is so hot. So I've just got a little skirt on with like a body. Oh, it's just so bloody hot. It is so hot. Actually hotter than I expected, weirdly. Like the humidity, I think you forget how hard that is with kids. But we're just accustomed now. We're having a lovely time. We've got to go home. We've got one more day tomorrow and then we fly on Friday. But I hope you've enjoyed what you have seen. And if you want to go to the Maldives, you need to do it. But you need to be prepared. And if you want to know more, ask me. <laughs> I'm going to take you along for our dinner tonight and show you the bar. Like there's there's one big bar called Together, Together Bar. But when it gets late, it gets too loud. Like I think we're a bit old, but it's proper like loud house music. Loads of bright lights, the kids go mental, like literally. And then to get them home to bed, it's all, it's all just a bit hectic. So we'll probably, we might go there for a little bit because Bethany really wants to. And then um, we're gonna probably go to the sports bar, which is inside, it's all air conned, it's really nice. And they're so quick in there. You know, they just come up, another vodka? 
you like, <laughs> yes please. They're just really speedy because it's not busy. So yeah, we think we're gonna go there after. So I'll show you those bars and I'll see if uh, Paul and Vicky and little Grace wanna be on here. I don't know if they will, but I'll ask them. I might get them to do a little wave. We've got another chill day tomorrow with Paul Finley. But actually he's happy, he is happy. I shouldn't keep saying Paul Finley because he's fine and people are feeling really sorry for him and he's like, oh, I don't want everyone worrying about me. And he's actually all right. He's happier, weirdly, today than he has been on any other day. And he's been on Netflix all day. So, you take a kid to the Maldives and they'd rather be on Netflix, but to be fair, he can't go out, so. Yeah, but like I say, we paid for this. This is our villa and me and Jim have spent the day out here and we've had such a nice time. Like, it's been the most relaxed we've been the whole week. So, there is something in that, that you don't have to do everything all the time you know, every single activity that there possibly is, actually just being lazy by your own pool is okay. That's what you pay for. And that's what we've enjoyed the most. Because the main pools, they're packed. You know, the kids love them and you want to take them there, but they're packed, they are. The service is great though, I have to say. We missed that today. We had to go for a long boozy lunch instead. And we went and had loads of champagne. Because <laughs> like, the being served is just amazing. And the food is incredible. The food is incredible, I have to say. Oh my God. Me and Jim were like, what I'm gonna miss the most is waking up to this and the food. The food is insane and the service. Being fed and watered all day long, I mean, what's not to love? It's amazing. So yeah, I'll take you along tonight and hopefully show you a little bit more tomorrow. Okay, Finley, so let's do a little interview while we wait for our dinner. How have you found your first trip to the Maldives? Yeah, it's been good, just very hot. Very hot, yeah, but hotter than we thought, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, again, I am ginger, so I burn easily. You probably won't, you probably won't get your arms like that. It's just... Oh, baby. But, well, probably because of my hair, but other people can get it, but you've got to be unlucky. Yeah. And we tried, didn't we? We tried so hard and it just yeah, happened. We did put a lot of cream on, but they just healed, so. But yeah. basically, apart from that, for the past eight days, the holiday has been great. It's just been today, I had to stay in bed, but they saw me on the patient. <laughs> but the, the eight days before that, it's been amazing. The good. so clear. I can see a shot. Yeah. I did get a good picture of the shot, to be fair. You did, you got a really good picture. You got the best one. Mum said, Oh, Finley, you're never going to get that, that too clear, just to, just to leave it. And I said, no mum, no mum. And he kept it. trying, he got the best picture of us all. And then mum was like, please send that to me, I need to put it on my Instagram. <laughs> and I did say, Finney, Finney takes the best pictures, I did say that. How many views did that picture get? How many likes? Um, not many. No, it did, it got quite a lot. You people. Lots Start of views. My Do you know what? There was lots of likes and posts and views because we're on holiday and people like to see it. People want to see us on holiday, don't they? Mm -hmm. So what's been your favourite part of this holiday? Probably the water, the sand. Yeah. Just like the looks of it. Yeah. And the, and the experience. And I'm glad that I've made a friend great because it's been oh. great to be around. You've made a best friend, haven't you? She's lovely. Should we get Grace on here tonight? Do you think she'll be happy to go on her? To try and persuade a little her. Bit embarrassed, but yeah, we'll get her on there. Yeah, but it's gonna be sad to leave. I know, but we still got all day tomorrow, all all tomorrow night, and then we leave the next day. So we've got I time. Swear though, all I'm gonna say is, you're gonna have to be ready for a six-hour flight because I mean, eight hour. drive eight it, hour. Well, wherever it, no, six hours to Manchester because. Oh, I thought you meant home. I, no, I need, I need to like I, I'm. I can wait like five months, but I'm going to need to see her again. <laughs> he needs to see his Gracie. Oh, that's cute. Well, thank you for your interview, and I shall see you soon. Mm -hmm. Peace oh, out. Peace out, dude. Cut the camera. Five, five bucks, please. Cut the camera. <laughs> You're such a YouTuber. <laughs> so Finney's got a reef fish fillet, which are really nice, aren't they? Mm -hmm. A bit of mash, which looks like a pancake. <laughs> And some veg, yay! I've had veg. a lot of pancakes over this one. Stephanie's got her favourite <laughs> chicken nugget. <laughs> oh God. She's going to look like a chicken nugget. And a blue lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone for paella. 
because we're in a Spanish restaurant. But we've gone for the chicken and pork because Jim's too scared to eat shellfish. <laughs> okay, it's Bethany's interview time. About no, 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 about you. How's your holiday been to the Maldives? How have you found it? Amazing. And poo. I like all the fishy. Yeah, that's a bit bright and in the face. Slime. Yeah. And the pool. But the pool's a little bit bad because of the tiles. Yeah, tile came off, yeah. Like a million tiles. Yeah. And then... Because he pulled them off. I didn't. Everyone, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Finley did that. She did. Yeah. Okay, she just let her have her time. And we... I love all the restaurants, especially Takfai and Wahoo Grill. And... And I like the one that we're at right now. The Spanish one. Spanish one, yeah. And I like blue lemonade. Okay. <laughs> What's your favourite thing of the whole holiday? Fishies, slide, pool, blue lemonade. Okay. What about to give a bar? Oh, you... and to give a bar. That's, that's the reason why I got my What about jungly? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah and jungly. Everything, basically. Yeah. And the baggies. The Can bag I film you dancing tonight? Yeah. I like sports bar. Especially, I like dancing to cheerleaders. Sing it then. Give us a little rendition. Go on. Oh, oh, it's the audition. I found myself a cheerleader. Oh, I found myself a cheerleader. Okay, that's enough. She knows it all. <laughs> Guys, stop before she sees the video. If you're even that far, I'm sorry you missed my warning. <laughs> and then we've got a salted caramel chocolate lava cake for pudding <gasps> with raspberry coulis. And Finney has got a brownie. Oh my God, it's massive. Brownie with ice cream. <laughs> Jim's got the same as me. And Bethany's full, apparently. How was your meal in the Spanish restaurant? Yeah, fantastic. That one was the, the best, best one. one best one. Best. Yeah. Yeah. We get we tipped our man. He was Hola. amazing. Yeah. Hola. I found out that I was right and Mum and Dad were wrong. I and thought Bethany something was. I went. I thought something <laughs> happened. That she just said. I Bethany thought sh that she loved someone and I knew it. And she said and she's so. Just and I thought it. I was bonkers for so. She said I was bonkers for so long and I was right. Bethany's got a boyfriend. Can you tell me your funniest joke. Um, what do you call a cheese that's not your cheese? Not your cheese! <laughs> <laughs> no, this is my funny. Yeah. Go on then. Why? You know. <laughs> why? Why? Three, four, five, and six. Scared of seven. Seven, eight, nine. To seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Dad, got any? No. No. Not, not, not enough yeah. champagne yet. Yeah. Yeah. Right, come on. Let's do so this is just a little glimpse of what our meals are like, and this is why we haven't come on here much. Okay. This is a dad joke. Okay. What's the best time to go to the dentist? Oh, I know. Two thirty. Two thirty. Two thirty. It means two thirty. I know. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't get it. I said that. I remember hearing you asking her so many times. I don't get it. Two thirty. She was like two thirty. And you were like, yeah, I don't get it. Why not three o'clock? <laughs> he was just like, he was just like, why can't it be three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock? I'm like, oh, I'm right, okay, okay, okay. okay. Be okay. Three, now say bye, say bye. Bye bye. Bye. Right, we're just coming out of the restaurant, and we're going to go and find. I don't know. Is it? Are we there? Is this together, bar? No. Oh, we still can't no, find where we're going. We get buggies. Yeah, it's not. It isn't together. It actually is. It actually is. Perfect. So this is the bar we're going to go to tonight. This is the busy one that we can never get seen. Then we're going in. to sports bar, baby. I'm going to play some pool with my bad arms. It's Hopefully, I'm still good. You will be. So because because everyone's together here. Because 
it's um, for families only. So if you're a teenager watching, you can't go here on your own. Yes, they can. No, they can't. Yes, they can. It's called Together Bar for Reason. Anyone can go anywhere. Apart from the kids aren't allowed at Mint Bar because that's adult only. Oh yeah, Mint Bar is... No, no, no. Oh, Bethany's going cuckoo. Wow, yeah. look at the shine. It's honestly so hot. Come on, Bethany. It's actually all right tonight though, isn't it, Ben? Because it's a bit breezy. Yeah. Why is that so blurry? I'm going to have a party. A party? We're only going to do it for like an hour and then we're going to sports bar. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. Bethany. Come. See why we haven't come on here much? Guys, crazy, cut crazy cuckoo kids. Cut the camera. Please, please, cut the camera. Please. Looking slick, boy. This is just one of the bars. I mean, come on. We don't want to come home. We don't want to go home. We feel like we know where we are now. Where are they? No. Oh yeah, there they are. Go on then. Bethany went cuckoo when it was burning in Sunday, Sunday, what? <laughs> she loved it. You were so good. Well done. She got everyone on the dance floor up, didn't you? Yeah. You did really well. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey girls. Say hi guys. Say hi guys. Hi guys. Vicky. <laughs> Cheers. Paul. <laughs> oh, it looks really, it looks really quiet and dead in here now. Oh God. Better drink it all at once, Beth. <laughs> oh, whoa. Beautiful. Whoa. Well done, Beth. <laughs> Thank you. Little Bethany's Bethany just made. Just with the gun. Our voice is loud. Oh! Mm -hmm. Oh! Just do it in there. Twenty-one, twenty-two. Oh! What are you doing, Hello, Mummy. Are you gonna be Hello, daddy? Hello, darling. You're gonna be daddy, aren't you? Careful though. Woo! <laughs> 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 
Oh yeah! Thank you, Beth, for your help. Oh, we have that. Finished. Oh, Love you. Oh, I've got no hands left. I'll take it. We'll see you tomorrow at some point. See you tomorrow. Oh. We'll, you need to come to ours and go snorkeling. Yeah. No, Text me and we'll go snorkeling. Yeah. Oh, and was it me? Oh God, I don't want to get off. Oh, bye guys. Bye, bye Paul. Bye Vicky. Bye Vicky. Bye sweetheart. Bye. bye. Love you. Bye, bye. Grace. He's got sandwiches. Yeah, they're best. Yeah. It's Share them really out, Beth. Right, me and Beth got them. Yeah, we got some egg crest sandwiches and we were loving life, I weren't we? I think it's really obvious that you and Vicky yeah. are drunk. Yeah, well, we're having a lovely time. Oh, me and Vicky are, like, loving life. Morning after the night before, you see me. But, yeah, our little routine, get up at 8 o'clock, get straight on the balcony. Right, we're just about to go for breakfast. We were just saying though, we haven't been hung over. We don't understand what's going on. We were smashed last night. Yes, you have. We haven't. No, we have not. Yeah, we were drunk. But what I'm saying is we haven't been hung over. We've been very lucky. Let's get back on the champers. Champers for breakfast? Yes, please. Me and Vicky were shouting, weren't we? I think I filmed it, I can't remember. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Right, so this is our little walk to breakfast and we're going to go to the one at the end of our pier and it's a buffet Tempo. buffet restaurant called Tempo. We're going to go there and I will show you what, what the selection is like. <laughs> Got a little Easter tree. Last day, and we're just waiting to get yeah. picked up, aren't we? On the sea plane. For our sea plane. And then we've got um, a long wait at the airport. I do like the sea plane, but I don't like it because it's so loud. They're very loud. I'm quite excited to go on and it. And it's really squashed, but I do like it though. And are you going to sleep this time like you did last time? Yeah, and um, Finley sleeps on the good parts, I sleep on the boring parts. <laughs> That's why Finley misses all the good parts. He's looking at her like, mm. we just had our, la our last little lunch, haven't we? All exclusive, all inclusive lunch. Lovely, and a an nice cream. And then we go on the seaplane. So we shall see you in England. I'm gonna miss my blue and pink lemonade. Yeah. What else are you gonna miss? Everything. Everything. Me too. Bye guys. Bye bye. back home we're not in the Maldives anymore <laughs> oh my god it is incredible I mean I just wish everyone could experience somewhere like that at least once in their life it is literally like a dream I feel so lucky that we got to go and so grateful that I got to go I don't think we'll ever be able to go back um, it is a long way it's very very hot it's quite hard with children but also really memorable like they were just like in awe of everything they couldn't believe that they could see sharks they couldn't believe they could see turtles you know it was just the most beautiful place to take them and I know that they're gonna grow up and remember that Like they will know that they've been to the Maldives and they will remember that sea and they've got those pictures to like treasure forever so yeah it was amazing on my Instagram I was like oh my god it's really stressful but the first few days was because it's such a change in routine and it was so hot the humidity 
was unbearable at times, like it's really hot. It's 32 degrees in the day, it was, and it goes down to about 30 at night, but it's the humidity, it's not a dry heat, do you know what I mean? Like if it was 32 degrees in Spain, it would feel different. Um, I don't know if you can hear as well, I've still got my, it's annoying cold, and it's not COVID, I've tested today, it's definitely not, I don't know what it is, probably just aircon, traveling, all of that sort of stuff. 10 nights of drinking copious amounts. <laughs> but today we've had a massive roast and I've drank lots of Prosecco to get through it and all will resume tomorrow. <laughs> so I am, I don't know whether I want to weigh in the morning, not because I feel guilty or I'm worried because I know I've had a gain. Everyone has a gain on holiday, including me. But I don't want it to give me a negative mindset or encourage that bad relationship with food or eating. I want to be able to eat guilt-free, basically, on a family holiday. I don't want to then come back and think, oh, what have I done? I shouldn't have done it like that. I should have changed it. I should have had this. I should have done that. No, I had a bloody good time and I'm not going to regret it. And I don't want to feel negative about anything. So I am very tempted to, I know I did last time. I weighed for you so I could tell you, but I saw that five pound come straight off. And I know that will happen again. I just don't really want to see it if I'm honest, because it does, it makes you feel rubbish about yourself and it makes you have that, like makes you rely on the scales and I, I don't care what the numbers say. I've, I've told you this so many times before, I don't care. I, I go by how I feel. I don't feel great, I feel sluggish, I feel very tired, <laughs> a little bit drunk. <laughs> so I just wanna continue my normal habits, get back to my step five habits, tracking my calories, drinking my water, feeling positive, getting into my good daily routine again, as I always say. I feel like I'm on repeat, but yeah, I'm not gonna weigh in the morning. I'm gonna just continue with my good habits, start step five tomorrow, and then I will film my weekly vlog. It'd be more like just day in the life of, and just kind of snippets of what I get up to next week. I'm gonna be really busy. All of my slimmers have booked in. A lot of them have been off plan. Unfortunately, when I go on holiday, a lot of my slimmers feel like they can go on holiday at home <laughs> and have an all-inclusive holiday of their own. And then, obviously, I've had lots of messages today, feeling guilty, feeling bad. And I say to them, you've got to remember, you're not doing this for me. Like, a lot of them apologise to me. And I say, you're not, you're not letting me down. And I, I sound like one of those parents, don't I? Like, you're not letting me down, you're letting yourself down. <laughs> but I mean it, because actually, it's your journey. It's not mine. You're not losing weight for me. I wouldn't let anyone jeopardize my journey if I want to lose weight I'll do it for me and yes having a consultant is amazing because you've got that accountability you've got that support but actually if you rely solely on them being there 24 7 then you're probably not going to do very well on plan I don't mean for that to sound harsh a lot of them are back on it today and actually I'm here to support push them give them a kick up the bum that they need a lot of them have said be really strict and you know I am pretty strict I'm I'm pretty straightforward with my approach and I just kind of tell people how it is and I think they're all ready and they're all revved up. It's Sunday so everyone always gets a rush of um, motivation on a Sunday night but actually that's good because it, it drives you for the week but you have to be like that every day. The weekend's just two more days on the end of the week. Your body doesn't know it's the weekend. It's no different to Monday. So yeah, you need to kind of get out of that mindset, stay strong stick to the plan you've set out to do, stay accountable, whether that be with your consultant or if they're away, be accountable to yourself, just write it down, you know, track track your days, maybe tick off a tracker or blog on social media and let other people know how you're getting on. Whatever your accountability looks like, just be accountable every day, every single day. Write down what you want to achieve every morning and get it done and yeah, think of me tonight when I'm sorting this out and I will see you all next week. I'm not going to do a weigh-in tomorrow so this will be the last little video of this week but I hope you enjoyed the Maldives vlog and I shall see you all next week with a normal week in the UK back to reality mm, thanks for watching guys